the sake of 10 years growing tree, for the sake of 100 years developing human. It is a glory to hear and follow Uncle Ho's words to grow tree and develop humans. It's in the last 50 years the Forestry University has reached many achievements recognized by the party and state. These achievements include First Class Independence Medal in 2014 Labor Medal 2009 Second Order Labor Medal 2006 Second Order Medal of Independence 2004 Third Order Medal of Independence 1994 First Order Labor Medal 1989 Third Order Labor Medal, 1984 and 1996. Medal of Freedom, 1984. Order of Friendship, 2000, of the Leal People's Democratic Republic. Looking at these awards, we are even more honored and proud of the achievements and long history of leading birds in the forest sector of Vietnam. Nông Đức Mạnh, former secretary of the Communist Party of Vietnam. These awards and compliments confirm the appreciation of our party and state and our Laotian friends and comrades for the great contribution of generations of teachers and students at Forestry University. I also avail this occasion to congratulate and approve the achievements of Forestry University and I hope that the university will continuously improve its quality of teaching and learning to meet the requirements of national modernization and industrialization in our new revolutionary period. Turning back to the past 50 years to August 19, 1964, when the Forestry University was first established by separating the forestry aspects from the Academy of Agriculture and Forestry. This was a historical event of particular importance for the development of the forestry sector and rural development of our country. The initial structure had three departments and buildings with 98 faculty and 30 general staff. Many among the first generation of this university must still remember the opening ceremony of the first academic year, which took place on November 28, 1964, where 350 students were admitted. During the rebellion years, while people were evacuating, training, and fighting, and producing, the university continued its mission, always taking care of its personnel and growing. By 1989, it has grown to 400 personnel, including 172 faculty and 228 administrative staff and employees. During the war years, hundreds of elite students from the 14th, 15th, and 16th courses, along with many lecturers, paused their study to join the Army in its expedition into the South to answer the call of duty and contribute to the liberation of South Vietnam and national unification. Many of these Forestry University alums heroically paid the ultimate sacrifice for the fight of na for national independence and freedom. After the spring victory in 1975 and the South was liberated, a new era in our history of Forestry University began as well. This era was composed of an increased level of expansion and development of the university. From the 1980s, pursuant to an agreement between the Socialist Republic of Vietnam and the Liao People's Democratic Republic, the university expanded its services to Liao students.
How we love the intellectual pioneers who dared to leave the land of pearl, to soon my where there are deserted myrtle hills, thirty years calling for sunlight in the earth. In 1984, with its strategic vision, the Forestry University moved its headquarters to Sun Mai, Hanoi. The move from Dong Chu to Sun Mai was carefully directed and professionally organized in light of shortage of equipment, material, and fuel. Được thành lập năm 1964. Exerted remarks from former rector Pham Tan Pin. Forestry University was established in 1964, but due to war conditions, it had to evacuate to Dong Chu. In 1984, it moved from Dong Chu to a new location in Sun Mai. This is a milestone marking a new development for the university. Đánh dấu cho một cái sự phát triển mới của trường đại học lâm nghiệp. The first opening ceremony held in Sun Mai was held on December 23, 1983, for the 28th regular course. For the opening ceremony and the 20th anniversary of the university, there was great festival for the whole university. It can be said that the 20 years in Dong Chu, Quan Nin, was a difficult time for people united to create the university's cause. O oh, the beloved University of Forestry, where lay the past touched by green shades. Forever the blue skies in Dong Chu, twenty years like a marching song. Inheriting and promoting the achievements of previous generations, in recent years, the university has maintained its solidarity, striving to obtain great and comprehensive achievements in all aspects, continue to develop training scale and number of majors, gradually improving training scale, improve the results of scientific research in which many transferred scientific and technological projects achieve good results, international cooperation enhanced and expanded to many countries and gradually deepened. Organizational structure adapted to the requirements of development. The number of personnel increased. The training of staff gained remarkable achievements. Facilities continued to be enhanced, becoming more convenient and modern. The overall life of staff and employees and students improved. Gao Đức Phát, Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development. The university had truly become an intellectual center of Vietnamese forestry. The university has continued its tradition of contributing a high quality human resources for forestry. I highly appreciate the efforts of the university in studying and transferring science and technology. Forestry University has become a leading center in applied research on biotechnology. It also has a strong and unified personnel who are guiding it properly and efficiently. I highly value the efforts of the university and its achievements in recent years. I've been working here for almost two years now and uh, Vietnam Forestry University is a very good institution, it has very uh, professional staff. Many of the professors and teachers have received their uh, graduate education. An interview with Dr. Nguyen Ha Thuat, former Vice Rector of Forestry University. I am also glad that now the university's teachers and leadership are generally young and capable. Phạm Bá Hành, Vice Director of the Second Institution in Dong Nai. Developing personnel is a breakthrough and is being strongly promoted. Next is developing training programs, especially advanced programs in combination with scientific research. I think it's a great university and it's growing very rapidly. In its mission statement, the Forestry University vowed to be a leading center for training, researching and technology transfer in Vietnam in the field of forestry, forestry processing and agricultural development.
natural resources and environmental management, prevention and mitigation of natural disasters. The university provides human resources of high quality and having crucial effects on national human resources in forestry, contributing to national sustainable development. After 50 years of educational progress, the Forestry University has made breakthrough and comprehensive changes in both quality and quantity to the arena of forestry management, forestry processing, and student teaching and development. During this time, the university has also trained 32,000 bachelor engineers, 2,300 master's level, 43 PhDs, over 16,000 mid-level officials and economic staff. In addition, the university has trained over 300 engineers and masters for layouts in Cambodia. The university's staff is politically aware with a high level of professional capability. They work in many scientific, technical, economic, political, and security fields across the whole country. This contributes greatly to the cause of building and defending the nation and building trust and appreciation in the society. More than 200 officers trained by the university have been holding key positions in agencies from the central to the local levels. Many have become professors, associate professors, PhDs, experts, and leading professional staff in different fields. These elite officers have contributed to the high rank brand of training of Forestry University today. To maintain good training performance associated with the new conditions, the university's politically aware and professional personnel include 565 employees comprised of three professors, 15 associate professors, nearly 100 PhDs, and 335 masters. They are highly qualified, enthusiastic employees and experienced in scientific and technological research. Additionally, the central laboratories of the university have modern equipment to meet the basic requirements of scientific and technological research. With these resources, the Forestry University has been leading and conducting many scientific and technological projects at all levels, contributing greatly to the national development of science and technology. Forestry University is active in cooperating and linking with many domestic and international organizations in the country to facilitate international training, scientific research, and technology transfer. The university has been working in training, research, and developing technology with 60 international organizations, universities, and research institutes in 16 countries such as Japan, Australia, China, the Philippines, Thailand, Laos, Germany, USA, Netherlands, Russia, and Sweden. Currently, it is receiving and effectively implementing dozens of programs and projects of international cooperation in education and science. Technology worth millions of dollars to bring practical results in enhancing infrastructure, training, and improving the personnel, and thereby enhancing the university's regional and global position. The Forestry University is an institution that provides high quality manpower to national resources in forestry, contributing to national sustainable development. Currently the university has 30 subordinate units consisting of 9 faculty, 2 institutes, 13 offices, 5 training organization and a second institution located in Dong Nai. The university's council was established in 2013, consisting of 25 members. The university's board of leaders includes Associate Professor Dr. Tran Van Chu, Party's Deputy Secretary, Rector. Associate Professor Dr. Win Van Tuan, Party Secretary, Vice Rector. Associate Professor Dr. Fan Van Chung, Vice Rector. Associate Professor Dr. Fan Van Dien, Vice Rector. Forestry University is one of the few universities in the country with educational and scientific research areas located in a beautiful campus. This campus includes dozens of hut floors with a total area of over 55,000 square meters in harmonization with nature. The Forestry University is composed of total areas 180 hectare acres, including 160 hectare acres at Sung Mai Base and 20 hectare acres for second institution. Teaching area, 12,830 square meters with 121 classrooms. Experimental area, 11,291 square meters with over 60 laboratories equipped with modern facilities and equipment. Library, 
2,465 square meters with over 12,000 titles, thousands of books, and electronic research of all areas to meet the requirements for high quality training and scientific research. Dormitory. 19,123 square meters with 5,000 rooms, gymnasiums, swimming pools, training fields. Students Club. 20,000 square meters serving studying and recreational activities of students. The university also has experimental forests in Lewitt Mountain, Tsun Mai, whose area is 133 hectare acres with over 200 species of native trees. The forest in Tan Lin, which is 187 hectare acres, is an ideal place for scientific research, practice, and experiments for students and learners. The advisory firm of Forestry Investment and Development and the Forestry Industry are effective units for research, practice, and experiment to serve the university's training and research. Sporting and artistic events are held regularly by the youth and student associations and other organizations to make great extracurricular activities connecting students with university life, helping them to develop in a more comprehensive way. To be able to study in a university of long tradition and good conditions for learning and researching is a pride and dream of many students and learners. My T. Ki Zan, Faculty of Economics and Business Administration. I'm very proud to be a student of University of Forestry. It gives us a lot of skills both in life and in learning as platforms for a future, a career, or an occupation. The achievements gained by the university in the past 50 years are made by the direct and decisive leadership and direction of the parties' committees as seen in the organization of managers and administrators and also express great care for ministries, departments, and local agencies where the university is situated. In addition, it is also necessary to mention the solidarity of the university's officials and employees. Thanks to the efforts and determination of each staff, employee, and student to meet national requirements of the country, the university has gained such great achievements. Implementing the development strategy of Forest University in 2006 through 2020, the parties, committees, and universities' board of leaders have identified these training goals. Provide multidisciplinary, multiprofessional, and interdisciplinary education to serve social requirements while maintaining the leading position of its traditional and core majors of the university. The practical and internship activities are improved in content, form, and structure. Preferential treatment is provided to encourage teachers and students to understand and master new production and technologies. The associated and connected forms of training are also taken care of. For many years, the university has expanded its training contracts with localities such as Quang Nan, Quang Nin, Fu Ta, Tian Quang, Le Chou. Additionally, the new training methods such as 2 plus 2 with foreign partners or Vietnamization of the U.S.'s advanced training programs have created attractive training programs for students. Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Van Thuan, Vice Rector. Looking back 50 years, we have trained thousands of staff, maintained the strength of traditional majors, continued to expand programs taught in English, determined to be among the top 50 universities in the list of more. Interview with a Laotian research fellow. And among the Lao students doing research here, many have gained master's degrees in various countries, such as Indonesia, Thailand, the Czech Republic, and a number of students have studied here. We find that the training and research environment of Vietnam Forestry University is very good in accordance with the development of the forestry sector in Southeast Asia and in the world. So as we are striving to develop the forestry sector of Lao People's Democratic Republic, we have chosen to study at Vietnam Forestry University. Interview with Mr. Tran Nhok Yap, alumni from the 19th course from the Commission of Inspectors of the Party's Committee of Landong Province. The acquired knowledge from the university satisfies all requirements of a solid education.
In my opinion, it is very valuable for all alumni after graduation who use it effectively in work because our study is very organized and has a high standard. Teachers were respected as teachers, students were treated and appreciated as students, and the overall training quality is superb. After graduation, students are hired to work in their trained occupation. That's something we feel very proud of and grateful for. Thanks to the successful implementation of long-term strategies and short-term goals in each period, the growth rate in regular training in the university has been 10 to 20 percent per year. The Forestry University is the first and typical in the whole sector that offers stay-in education for high school minority students for university entrance and training staff for the remote areas. Many have become key officials at local agencies and others are continuing their studies for master's and PhD degrees. This achievement has contributed to the successful implementation of ethnic policies of the party and state. Today, the university has 18,000 students, including 1,000 graduate students, and nearly 80 PhD students. 300 high school minority students, 1,000 college and mid-level students at the second institution. The field of scientific research and international cooperation have always been considered a strategic issue of Forestry University. The resolution of the 18th Party Congress confirmed that developing science and technology is one of the key political tasks and key criteria for evaluating the university's leading position in forestry science. From the early years when it was founded, the university was interested in scientific research. Scientific research was developed into a movement in the entire university. One of the first professional textbooks on forestry have been published. Many research projects have been directly applied in production, practically contributed to everyday life. In the next years, scientific research continued to be strengthened and extended by contracts with producers of forest products which on one hand improves practical skills for students, on the other hand solves the requirements of production centers and also contributed to the university's revenue. Going with international economic integration, the Forestry University is active in cooperating and linking many domestic and international organizations in the country with international training, scientific research, and technology transfer. The university has been working and training, researching and developing technology with 60 international organizations universities and research institutes in 16 countries such as Japan, Australia, China, the Philippines, Thailand, Laos, Germany, USA, Netherlands, Russia, Sweden. Some of the scientific and technical products have been awarded typical patents of invention, intellectual property, technical achievements, scientific awards such as sand run forest firefighting, useful solution which was patented 936 in 2011. Versatile Firefighting Machine, patent number 9940 in 2011. Management Software for Surveying Data of Vietnamese Forests, Copyright Registration Certificate in 2013. Software for Surveying Date of Forests, Copyright Registration Certificate in 2014. Young Scientific and Technical Award, Golden Globe in 2011. The paper titled Research and Application of Wood Bending Technology to Create Functional and Artistic Curves in Manufacturing Small and Medium Scale Wood Products received the award of Vietnam Fund for Supporting Technological Creation, VIFOTEC, 2013. The policy for scientific and technological research in the future is to develop Forestry University into a powerful center of scientific and technological research capable of implementing the national strategies on development and protection of forest, biodiversity, biotechnology, ecology, processing and marketing of forestry products, on water protection, forest fire prevention, disaster preparedness in regions and areas, sustainable management of forest and ecological environment. Associate Professor Dr. Fan Van Chong, Vice Rector of the Vietnam Forestry University. Science and technology is a very important specialized area which is associated with the university's development. In recent years, this area has developed in both quantity and quality and is recognized and appreciated by ministries and sectors. To promote overall results in the future, the area of science and technology will guide developments in a number of areas. International cooperation is also a strength of the university and is highly prioritized by the party and board of leaders.
After 50 years of establishment and development, the university was provided with new position and new conditions along with investments in additional technical equipment. The university has continually expanded and developed training majors, scored significant achievements in scientific and technological research, expanded foreign relations, refined its organizational structure, significantly improved the quality of its faculty, improved internal solidarity, promoted and expanded democracy, gradually improved the tangible and spiritual life of staff, officers, employees, and students. The university's achievements positively contribute to national socioeconomic development, especially in the midland and mountainous areas, and left a profound impact on socioeconomic development in Zun Mai and adjacent areas, further strengthening the role and position of the university. Comments adopted from an interview with Professor Dr. Tran Van Chu, Rector of Vietnam Forestry University. Recently, we have rebuilt our strategies and some of those in the future are as follows. Firstly, regarding the organizational model, the university will develop in the form of an academy with many small institutes, departments, centers and companies. And we have to upgrade the trademark of the second institution. To follow the policy of the ministry, we will open new institutions in the central highlands and remote areas. Secondly, one of the crucial factors in the strategy is that we have to train our personnel in the true sense of both politically aware and professionally capable. As for training, we will follow the current trend of diversified training models, but we must begin to adapt our methods to diversify and multilateralize various forms of training while maintaining traditional majors. Thirdly, regarding international cooperation, we will also diversify and multilateralize international cooperation and our desire is to develop various international projects. Currently we are linking and working with over 60 universities and international organizations around the world, but we would like to have more of this international cooperation. The university's strategy for development is that by 2015 we will be able to develop the international cooperation right in our campus and connect with 80 universities and international organizations. Especially we will be able to conduct academic exchanges changes with universities in the world, invite foreign teachers to teach here and vice versa. The country is entering a new era of development and integration. The Forestry University is extremely excited upon entering this new era and we are gradually implementing the development strategy of Forestry University 2006 to 2020. Certainly with the caring of the party and state with comprehensive investments by the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development and Ministry of Education and Training and with the solidarity and high-level promotion of internal strength by all officers, staff, and employees, the Forestry University will reach a new level cultivating its 50 years of tradition in accordance with the awards from the party and the state. This is also the noble and sacred mission of the teachers and students of Forestry University, planting the seed of knowledge for the country and people. Oh, the shining and beloved University of Forestry, with its 50 years of planting spring seeds for the evergreen country and planet, plunge itself into deep forest. Do <laughs> do